how are you doing it's really cold today but i have to film this video you guys enjoyed the grocery shopping all i filmed the other day at Lidl. so today i'm taking you to mckinley's and they have a wide range of caribbean and african food products so you find different mix of ingredients and spices so if you're committed to your african or caribbean taste buds then you're going to enjoy this video if you're ever in the west yorkshire area don't forget to visit mckinley's you're going to enjoy your shopping there and the staff there they are very friendly and this is not a promoted video come shop with me voiceover hannah here welcome back to my channel i thought that it would be a very big inconvenience to the other people shopping in this local store so yeah you have my voice over and listening to this beautiful voice walk you through this supermarket i'm starting from my very favorite which is plantain and it costs one pound 80 pence for one kg i just showed you the limes and here you have some sumptuous luscious <laughs> mangoes uh, pears and this okras you pack just as much as you want and they would wait for you and then put a price tag so there is no price tag right now on the aisle you have to like select the ones you want and then they will wait for you this store sells fresh peppers there's granite and then you have your tubers different sorts of potatoes coco yam i don't know what the other one is called uh there is yam i have a little bit of story about this yam the other day i bought it and it wasn't very good and the store owner was gracious enough to uh give me a free yam which i really appreciated <laughs> but yeah they sell yam here and brazil soft yam costs three pounds fifty pence per kg and like i said before for some items like plantain and this peppers and this uh garden egg here you have to take it to the counter you pick the ones you want take it to the counter they will measure it on a scale for you and then they'll put the price tag uh this peppers i only bought four of it because mind you the peppers here they are very pepperish so i can cook a whole pot of stew and i'm just using two two peppers uh, to make that soup so i try not to buy a lot of it because i want it to be fresh so i bought this four peppers for 42 pence and let's see what the garden eggs costs four of that costs one pound 19 pence i don't know about you guys but i am really loving the background music that i've selected for this video enjoy this particular sound that i have selected while you watch the b-roll cueing okay don't get too comfortable i'm back moving on you have the red skin peanuts and you have this all cashews this one kg costs 11 pounds 55 pence i usually buy my cashews somewhere else you know somewhere where i can measure out the cashew uh, there is premium irish moss i never buy this one but it costs six pounds 99 pence and you have different uh, varieties and from different manufacturers moving on to this aisle that i really love if you've never tried this africa's finest plantain fufu you need to try it the consistency is something else and it is not so expensive just about two pounds and here you have the lafia 
hot or cold drink we actually call it zobo from where i'm from which is nigeria and it costs about 99 pence for that and over to this aisle you have the brought mix for 70 pence a pl bali for 65 pence and these products are all from triple lion you have the lentils for one pound five pence beans for one pound 89 pence there is a variety of lentils here and chickpeas uh you can just go at it and select any one you want and on this same stand as well there is different types of beans and this cow peas from tropical sun is a very popular uh manufacturer that you find in all almost all caribbean and african stores uh this is honey beans uh, nigerian honey beans cost two pounds 40 pence there is the bulgar weed for one pound 75 pence right there and there is also sea isle butter beans for one pound 40 peeled beans if you don't want to go through the stress of having to peel your beans for some kind of food like moi moi do you already have that here for three pounds about three pounds 35 pence for one kg of peeled beans there is rose cocoa beans i don't even know what that is i've never bought it before uh there is black eye beans for one pound if you're interested in that and i believe this is i think this is 500 grams i'm not so sure about that yeah 500 grams correct <laughs> whenever i see that bag i know it's 500 grams so that costs one pound and black eye bean like i mentioned before costs one pound 49 pence there's kidney beans cost one pound 99 pence and these red kidney beans cost one pound 39 pence so basically 500 grams of beans will cost between one pound and two pounds so you know how much to go to the store with i bought this con for my popcorn machine i don't actually have a popcorn machine i have this little thing that you put in a microwave but turns out that popcorn was not the right one that corn wasn't the right one for my popcorn so if you know what the right corn is for popcorn please leave it in the comments i really want to hear and if you're enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up it really helps the video and helps me out a lot here you have the nigerian taste sweet beans 1.5 kg cost five pounds and what else Yes, I usually go for the 1.5 kg because I want to, you know, have it in the house for about a month or two months. And that is how long I eat it for, right? If I buy this 1.5 kg, I can eat it like seven different times between myself and my, and my husband, like seven different times before it's finished so good value for your money uh you have from another brand six pounds 79 for the same uh kg for the same 1.5 kg keep in mind that different brands will have different pricing it just depends on the brands that you want also if you're buying a much higher kg say 4 kg you end up paying less when you do the mats really so sometimes i like buying some food that i eat often i like buying a lot so that i can pay less for it this rice flour is 1.5 kg and it costs one pound 45 pence what do we have here there's bean flour for three pounds 99 there is the maize meal for two pounds 69 pence for 1.5 kg cassava flour costs two pounds 50 pence uh, I have one of these. I've only bought it one time. I like it, but not as much as the plantain fufu because I, I prefer the consistency of the plantain fufu. You can check it out if you want, but yeah, it's good to have. There is semolina 0.65 pence. And if you're someone that swears by a particular brand, maybe you swear by golden penny semolina or something, then you will like the store because they carry a variety of the same product, but from different manufacturers like that semolina. Or semovita some people will call it they have the one from tropical sun and they have one from golden penny as well but of course different pricing for different brands so yeah so 2 kg of the golden penny semovita cost three pounds 99 so some brands are just expensive maybe because they have a huge customer base they are just more expensive 
this corn meal costs one pound 45 for 1.5 kg and i know a lot of people will like this because it's a very popular brand ola ola authentic pounded yam if you eat african uh, meal like swallow then you know ola ola <laughs> Ola Ola, I don't eat pounded yam a lot, but I know this is a very popular brand and it costs £8.99. pence. It is very expensive. Pounded yam is very expensive here and it costs £8.99. pence. There is also um, the brand from Nigerian Pounding Yam. There's another brand here that sells its own 1.5 kg for £4.65. So it just depends on the brand that you're going for. And this pound do yam, it comes in a bigger pack as well. So you find 4 kg, 5 kg, and the bigger the kg, the more expensive it is. For example, this brand, this TS pound in yam costs three pounds ninety nine pence for one point five kg, while the one from FF Foods costs four point sixty five for one point five kg. So the same kg, but one is at least one pound more expensive. Ijebu Gari, yeah. This Gari is called different name by different people from different places. Some people call it G four, but it's a very very popular. Uh, food in Africa and I always like to have my gari in the house because it goes with a lot of things right you can use your gari for you know a number of things to <laughs> with moi moi you can pair it with beans you can pair it and you can just you know drink your gari by itself alone alone it works alone as well you guys should enjoy this music again as you watch this b-roll <laughs> What? I like this aisle because believe it or not, every time I go shopping, I always feel my spices covered. I'm always buying one spices or the other. This ground pepper costs two pounds twenty pence. Uh, one pound eighty pence. Black pepper one pound eighty pence. Black pepper one pound eighty pence. Garam masala. If you haven't tried chicken curry, you need to try chicken curry. That costs 79 pence. Chili powder costs 75 pence. Chili powder extra costs 75 pence. Turmeric powder costs 59 pence. And you have the BBQ seasoning for 79 pence. I really like the packs that they come in because you can open it and reseal it back as well. You have this hot and spicy seasoning for 75 pence and this jerk seasoning for 79 pence. Take me to the Caribbean. Take me to Jamaica. Okay, more spices, more spices, and more spices. There's the cumin seeds for one pound 99 pence. This paprika for I think that was 99 pence. Uh, black pepper powder for three pounds 85 pence. But that's the 400 gram. So if you don't want to keep going to the store and buying the same spices, so you can buy them in a bigger pack. Uh, this all-purpose seasoning one pound about 95 pence. One pound 99 pence for that. Uh, the Hot and curry powder one pound sixty nine pence for that. Mild curry powder one pound sixty nine pence for that. This hot pepper sauce costs four pounds sixty nine. Uh, you have the jerk seasoning and even a bigger, a bigger bowl. That's a bigger bowl. Yeah, that comes in a bowl, not a sachet like the other ones. And you have this guava jam. Basically, this aisle is all Jamaican vibe. <laughs> and i think i've only bought jack seasoning from this aisle before because i am not uh from the caribbeans you know i think we have the same heritage so off you know what i'm talking about <laughs> You also have the lime juice for 75 pence. I really like that this juice has been squeezed. You have your apple cider vinegar for nine pounds, 50 pence. Uh, so depending on the sizes, the sizes will differ. If if you have a bigger bottle, then you are paying a bigger price, right? Uh, here you have your odd pepper sauce for one pound 99, another one for one pound 20, another one for three pounds 10 pence. Uh, the baby kill sauce for two pound 99 you have the jerk marinade again in a different bottle different size 
this a chili sauce uh, big tomato ketchup <laughs> if you have a big family big size family buy that tomato ketchup for just two pounds 95 pence and here you have different kinds of uh, flavoring as well for cooking uh, you have black eyed beans remember we there was some black eyed beans right there but that was in a bag this one is in a um, can uh, here you have your corned beef and other spices as well I've never tried Aki before although I've always always heard about it it cost three pounds 95 um, this color loose salted water costs one pound 75 it's written on it is for the Jamaicans and this right here is my childhood geisha add your geisha your water your oil and jello fries is ready but this geisha costs 75 pence and there's another one mackerel 75 pence for that what else is here crayfish i know a comedian the other day was saying that people put crayfish in everything and he met a girl that added crayfish to pancakes oh my god <laughs> crayfish to pancakes that was just a joke by the way uh moving on there is the ginger paste for two pounds 99 pence garlic paste as well i have this at home so i'm gonna be buying this for you know this particular shopping two pounds 99 for the garlic paste and there are different kinds of dried leaves here dried fish as well um i bought this the other day saint leaf for my goosey uh you have different stock fish that saint leaf costs one pounds by the way there are different salt fish different dried fish that you can use for your cooking uh this is stock fish i think that costs two pounds 25 pence what else do we have here four pounds 25 pence i think that's 500 grams it's still stock fish there is 85 pence here for ugu leaf and oh my goodness they have a huge selection of essence in this place i've never seen pistachio uh essence before but apparently there's something called pistachio essence i think this is for your baking and stuff which was really surprising for me that it's pistachio uh there is pear there's aniseed and it's also cheaper here unlike in lido it's cheaper here it's three for one pound or one for 40 pence so many spices here i remember buying my theme here and what is a for seasoning again i would normally use my maggi for my seasoning but which one is a for seasoning anyways if you're interested that's from africa's finest a for seasoning costs what's that one pound 15 pence um basically the spices here costs just as much one pounds two pounds for most of the spices here i really like buying spices in a big container i have this mild curry powder is three pounds ten pence but i've had it for the longest time and it really saves money plus you don't have to keep wondering when your spices will be done because you have a big bowl of it in your spices cupboard my spices cupboard is something i'm really proud of <laughs> but i do yeah i do have this um curry uh, spice in this big container there is fish seasoning for two pounds 99 three pounds 55 for jack seasoning in this container they have all-purpose seasoning as well in this container that costs three pounds ten pence everyday seasoning uh what's this now barbecue seasoning for three pounds 99 pence three pounds everything here about three pounds 99 pence i like that you also have it in sachet and this is another section of the spice as well there's a lot of spices like i said at the beginning of this video a lot of spices here they have them in different sachet different containers different sizes depending on your depending on what you prefer i have I also have the spices in different containers as well um so i i try to buy different containers when i come just to experiment and kind of style my spices cupboard if that makes sense this is garlic powder for four pounds 25 pence there is sage for two pounds 50 pence dried rosemary for two pounds 59 oregano uh, italian seasoning one pounds 99 and we're going upstairs this store has a local store but it's moderately sized and they have 
like um another section for th this other section that i passed is just something basic like drinks and all i don't usually shop at that section so i'm just going upstairs for my protein here you have your indomie onion chicken full box for 11 pounds 99 don't buy the single one because that is way more expensive i think it's like five for two pounds or something way more expensive so i always buy it in this big box and there are also leaves here they are all frozen so you have a castle leaf for one pound each you have your frozen pig in peas for two pounds fifty um your yellow ogi for one pound twenty matem matem billy i don't know what that is but it costs one pound eighty nine pence you have your frozen cassava pieces one kg cost three pounds fifty over to this section there is the biteku teku whatever that is one pound 99 pence cassava leaves cost one pound 59 each and your jama jama leaves i don't know what that is one pound 89 bitter leaves cost one pound 99 and you have your frozen ugo leaves for one pound 99 Nigerian pomo cost three pounds ninety nine kg. Onycone tribe cost five pounds twenty kg. I buy all of these things when I come for my full shopping, uh, but I only bought a few of these when I for this particular shopping. There is ox tribe, and I noticed that some of the things here are finished. That's because I'm shopping on a Friday. Um, here there is boneless cow feet for four pounds fifty per kg. Cow feet for one pound sixty five per kg. Uh, what else there is let me quickly point this out that although the pricing is on is on the fridge when you finally open the fridge to buy that particular item has different price points so of course they put it on the they measure it on the kg and they have different price points so for this particular uh, beef you have 1.36 1.16 1.24 you have it in like different prices so if you if you don't have up to five pounds 99 and you want that particular item a good thing is or the good thing is that you can always buy it at a lower price point just open the freezer and you find it at a different price point which is something that makes sense i think it's a very good marketing strategy yeah there's smoked turkey there's smoked turkey wings for four pounds fifty smoked turkey drumsticks for four pound fifty all smoked in for four pounds ten pence each turkey giza for two pounds 95 i bought this the last time i was here i think but it's no longer available goat's meat costs five pound 80 pence each one kg oxtail costs seven pounds 50 per kg yup and this fresh turkey wings which is also finished costs two pounds 79 pence the fresh turkey drumsticks cost two pounds 79 per kg and what else do we have here i think we're going to the fish section let's see okay pangasia steaks cost two pounds 99 each panga fillet cost five pounds 50 per kg catfish cost three pounds 50 per kg egg cost four pounds 25 per kg uh you have your tilapia for three pounds 10 per kg i've bought this once here before and the favorite one the one that i always buy when i come here is uh, mackerel i either buy the us mackerel or the other one i think that's smoked mackerel two pounds 79 when you open the freezer like i said you find it at different price points so i always want to check the weights you know of the one that i'm buying and i select one so i always buy this mackerel very very yummy i like it fried especially very nice goes with your fried rice goes with your uh, soup i always like it when i eat uh, fried fish with fried rice it has that there's that different taste because most of the time i eat it with i eat my fried rice with chicken or turkey so when i do use fried fish i always always enjoy it uh let's see if that's the end of my shopping on this um on this aisle okay i'm still showing you something more <laughs> there is chicken giza for two pounds fifty legs and tines for five pounds eighty five soft chicken for two pounds sixty five or two pounds eighty depending on the kg you're buying and old chicken for four pounds twenty five you have your old chicken 300 gram right or is that 1300 gram for three pounds 30 i think enko old chicken three for five pounds ninety nine okay most of the time when i come here i usually spend about 10 to 20 pounds for my protein that includes my beef and my chicken but 
that would last for the entire month usually yellow croaker for three pounds 99 per kg uh trevally for three pounds 99 that's no longer available pirate fish for four pounds 99 egg steaks for seven pounds 99 prawns i always always buy prawns but they didn't have today that cost 12 pounds for 750 kg snapper fillets cost 12 pounds 99 per kg and this salmon fillet costs that much <laughs> it costs that much i'm buying this turkey i believe this is turkey i bought two different price points uh fresh turkey wings <laughs> oh my goodness i really like voiceovers do you like voiceovers let me know what you think about this voiceover am i doing a great job let me know let me let me know guys and i always like buying this malta guinness because i miss it a lot but don't drink a lot because it's sugar there is sugar in this thing where it costs four pounds 25 just for four for four four pounds 25 and if you're just buying one it's like one pound something so that's really expensive if you ask me and i'm done with my shopping for today and this is me looking at what i spent so all of this shopping a full basket for 14 pounds 66 i really enjoyed doing this shopping do you guys want more grocery videos let me know and if you enjoyed watching please give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe thank you for watching bye